Hello. Hello. Oh yeah. Yes. What? So here, uh, you already ex understand the logistic regression, right? So linear regression is similar to that, only in term of output dependent variable, it will be different. Dependent variable will be in the category. Uh, sorry, it will be in an uh, like numeric. A numeric continuous. Like here, you can see one, one dot one, one dot three. Even salary as well can be in the decimal as well, right? So that will be always simple linear regression. Logistic means categorical, where you have a dependent variable in categorical. Now here, suppose you have a data set that based on the experience, you have to decide the salary. So what is your uh, dependent variable here? Salary. And what is your input variable here? experience okay Perfect. experience your input and salary is your output means based on the experience your salary will decide however i don't uh, uh, believe on this i feel like based on the uh, skill set and uh, uh, person knowledge he should get salary not based on the experience mm -hmm. But this, but the start is the based on only ex, uh, experience, right? Yeah, but once you get an experience of one or two years, then market is open yeah. for you. You can get the salary if you know um, how to negotiate. Yes, right. Okay. So here, now what I'm doing here, my X, X I'm telling here, minus one. When, what do you mean by this minus one? Minus one I'm, I passed here. It means that whenever you want to pass the, the, okay, whenever you want to consider all the input column except the last one, you can pass like this. Okay, minus one. It will going to do what? It will going to take all the column as your input feature except the last one. So minus one, as if you remember, while explaining the list data structure, I told you, if you want to process the list from the back backward direction, reverse direction, then you have to use minus one. Do you remember that? Minus, yes, Amit. Minus two. Yes, Amit. So yes, Amit. in this scenario, it will work like this. This code says that you are going to consider all the input variable except the last one and why it tells you the index one will be your target variable what is an index here two index are there zero is for experience one is for salary so in why you are passing one means your target variable is salary and in this you are passing minus one means what all the column except the last one so whichever will be their index and experience it will going to consider that okay after taking this again, you have to divide it. Now here you can see if I take test size one by three, what will be your training data? What will be the size of training data? Can you tell me? One by seven. Yes. It will be 67%. One by three means 0 0.33. Mm -hmm. So it will be uh, one by uh, seven. Yeah. No, no, one minute. <laughs> 75 percent, right? One by two. No, no. It's not 75. 75 percent, it cannot be one by three. It is three by four. Three by four is 75 percent. Yeah, 25 percent. Oh, no. Wait, wait. 33. It will be 33 percent. 33 percent. That is going to be two by three. Rest going to be two by three. Yeah, rest one will be two by three. Two by three. Rest will be two by three, or you can say that one by three divide uh, one by three. When you do division, you will get uh, zero dot three three. So when you subtract mm -hmm. it by one, you will get yeah zero seven. dot six seven. Mm -hmm. So you will get zero dot six seven per uh, six percentage, seven. or you can say six seven percentage of data will be your training data, and mm -hmm. test data will be thirty three.
once you divide the data set again uh, you just have to import if you remember in case of dysentery i was using dysentery in case of logistic regression i was importing from this sklearn logistic regression in place of linear regression i am using linear regression once you import this assign it to the variable and that variable you fit it dot with fit function will going to predict it on your training and test data so you just have to predict it on x train is your training data y train is a dependent variable and once you are done with this you just do the prediction on your test data so it will going to give you a prediction how simple this algorithm is right do you feel mm -hmm. difficulty anywhere no right after that you can just make the graph if you want okay if you want uh, to draw the graph you can make the graph uh, i already explained in the matplotlib library right scatter plot how you are going to draw dot scatter you are going to pass the label that you want to consider x train will be your x label y train will be your y label and green will be your dot color okay so this is called as a best fit line this red one and it is doing the prediction between experience and salary so what do you mean by actually this machine learning algorithm it is actually telling you the relation between relation between two variable what do you mean by this means based on the experience what your salary will be for example less than 1 will salary having a range in 30000 if you have an experience greater than 10 maybe something 11 or 12 your salary will be 1 lakh 20000 indian rupees or in dollar right so this is actually telling you relation between year and salary and this red line is your best fit line which means actual prediction and this green one is prediction done by your algorithm okay best this red one is what the value that are available in your data set means uh, for example uh, let me take 6 so for 6 it is giving prediction 80000 so let me see what is the prediction for 6 year so if you see here in actual data in the data for 6 year no 60000 right yeah something uh, it will come actually this is an image so that's why it's not coming let me check it in the downside for 6 year something 60000 70000 is coming but your algorithm is predicting 80000 right mm -hmm. so it means something that this red line means what the value that are available in the data set and green one means what that is predicted by your algorithm that you run currently recently the algorithm that you have run is predicting 80 more than 80000 for 6 year experience right so this okay. is uh, about uh, how the algorithm works okay. so uh, amit yes so this mean uh, whatever we are going to use algorithm that's for prediction yes so whatever we have a data that was the you know the data actual that data. was part of it, right actual data and uh, yeah the actual data there is you know 6 years there is only 55000 mm -hmm. but right now we are getting in 6 year 80000 that that going to be prediction right yes so it mean that okay, our right. prediction is wrong for that particular year in past it was 55000 but yeah. we are going to predict by this algorithm it will be 80000 in 6 years yes right yes okay. so so sometime you will get an incorrect prediction as well so right now mm -hmm. we are learning as a beginner so i am not telling you optimization technique performance tuning performance tuning means what we are will going to try to improve accuracy by making changes in the data as well as algorithm that will going to learn once we complete the whole algorithm so i think uh, today you go through this link you save mm -hmm. all this website i am i will going to share in the whatsapp you can save this you open the website and save it in a pdf how you are going to save in pdf you just have to mm -hmm. press control p so 
it will going to convert into the PDF and save it. So that PDF will always with you. You can watch it. You can uh, go through this as well, right? Can you share okay. now in chat box, or are you gonna share? I will going to uh, share in the WhatsApp. So it will always with you in the WhatsApp. You shared yesterday as well, right? I did yesterday. Yesterday I share for decision tree. Today I will going to share for logic. But, but we can get you know, everything over there as well. You share everything. I think I check machine learning as well. Yeah, machine learning is there, but specifically yeah, to this so, yeah. linear regression and logistic regression, I will share you the specifically the complete link. So you don't okay. have to search yeah. it there. You can directly open it. Yep. Okay. So today you go through these two program. Tomorrow I will going to start support vector machine and KNN. So before 20 or 22, I will try to cover this. So by this month end, yeah, and uh, I one more thing, okay. So go through these two program, okay. Two means which one 